Does the Sony A6700 camera have a problem? Mine does. Let's take a look and see. Okay, today I'm here to make this video, something that I really wished I wouldn't have to do, but there seems to be a serious problem with my Sony A6700 camera. I'm a portrait photographer, so I use off-camera flash all the time, all the time. So I was out on a job with my A6700. Actually, this was the first time I took it out on a job where I used flash. I've used it before for natural light shooting, and it worked fantastic. Everything worked great. I was shooting natural light. It was time to switch over to using flash. I started using flash, and it was working. I use a off-camera Godax uh, Flashpoint version of the uh, AD200 flash with the uh, on-camera trigger. And everything was working. Then all of a sudden, in the middle of the portrait session, I pushed the button, and the whole camera froze up. I didn't know what was going on. I could, I would push the button, nothing would happen. The flash wasn't triggering, and then a few seconds later, around 10 seconds, it uh, freed itself up. I pushed the button again. It completely froze up again for about another 10 seconds. Luckily, I had my uh, Nikon Z6 with me in a. Uh, belt uh, pouch I pulled that out switched the flash uh, trigger onto it and I finished the job now I've come home after that job and uh, days next few days I've been testing and testing and testing I can reproduce this pro problem over and over uh, not only on the hot shoe flash uh, trigger that I was using but multiple different flash shoes triggers and even a manual flash. I have a Godox manual flash that only has one pin. All it has to do is trigger that one pin and the flash goes off. The flash will fire for a while. Eventually the camera will lock up, freeze, and freak out for about 10 seconds. And then it comes back to life. Press the button again. Freezes up again uh, for about 10 seconds. Comes back to life and then starts shooting normal again. It'll shoot normal for a while. I might get 30, 40, even 50 or 60 shots, and then all of a sudden it'll lock up again. So I'm making this video to show, uh, show this. I've got it on video. You can see it working and then completely locking up and freezing up. I was told by some people maybe possibly you can only use a Sony flash trigger or Sony flash on this camera. If that's the case, honestly, that sucks. That means you can't use a Pocket Wizard, a Godox Flash Trigger, a Westcott uh, Trigger, a Pro Photo, a Lenchrom, uh, or any other kind of manual flash. You wouldn't be that would limit this camera to be one of the worst portrait photography cameras you could possibly buy. If that's the case, so my hope is that my camera has something wrong with it. I've got a return set up. I'm going to send it back. I'm going to get a uh, replacement if I can even get one because right now it's showing they're back ordered where I ordered it from and see if I can get a replacement and see if that works. Uh, I'm hoping it's just something shorting out in my camera. But if I get that replacement and this still happens, there's a major problem with this camera. Uh, I won't be able to use it for my portrait sessions at all because I use off-camera flash all the time including uh, manual on-camera flash. So here's a video of it showing you how it freezes up and quits working. Okay, first let's uh, show the settings. I've got it set to a shutter sync speed of 125, well within the range, F5.6, ISO 800, and uh, it's auto focus uh, people subject off because it's not a person. I'm shooting at and here's the flash it's set to 1 28th of a second with this battery and this flash I could shoot, shoot continuously here we go with the test shooting you can see it working 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 no problem no problem and then boom I press the button now it's the cameras froze it quits working nothing happens now this lasts for about 10 seconds and it'll recover but then we will try it again there, it just popped, came back on, press it again, boom, it's frozen. Touch the uh, shutter button, nothing happens. The first time the screen went blank, this time the screen stayed on, but I have nothing there. Then it comes back on after about 10 seconds, and boom, and now it's back to working again. 
Now let's take a look at that one more time. <laughs> this just really can't happen in the middle of a portrait session. The camera freezes. Here we go. It's frozen. Can't do nothing. The back screen is off. Completely freezes up. No camera should be able to do this like this. This is, uh, this is terrible. You can't have this happen in the middle of a job in front of your customers. And it did happen to me. I'm glad I had my Z6 with me to be able to pull that out and finish the job. For a brand new camera, I mean, I've had this like two weeks. And this is the first time I'm taking it out to be using it on a job. And this is what I get. So my final thoughts on this are that I'm not happy with this whatsoever, that I have to send this brand new camera back for replacement. And I'm worried that uh, the camera that I get back as a replacement might have this same problem. And I've already bought four different lenses for this camera in advance. So I'm past my return date on all four lenses. So if I end up getting the camera back and it still has this problem, I'm now stuck with four lenses and a camera that I can't use for my portrait business. Uh, I make my living shooting portraits and I was really looking at moving to this camera for that, for a lighter, smaller setup. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time. I've developed neck and back problems and I was really wanting to go with a smaller, lighter setup. I have no problem using a crop sensor camera because for portraits I'm not shooting in low light so I don't have to worry about shooting in high ISO. If I was going to shoot in high ISO, uh, lower light things, I would use my uh, full frame cameras. Anyways, uh, I hope that uh, I get a good camera that does not have this problem. Otherwise, Sony really needs to fix this. And I hope uh, maybe somebody else that has the camera and a manual flash or some of these other flash triggers can test this on their camera. Like I said, you might have to shoot 30 or 40 or even 50 pictures before it happens, but then it happens. And you want to make sure it's not going to happen because uh, you don't want to happen it to happen to you on a job like it did me. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.